Hey everybody, I'll, uh, I'll dive straight into how to get upload these preset files here before I blab on about other things. Um, so if you don't, just a heads up before we even do it, um, if you upload this preset file, uh, you'll lose the presets that you do have right now. So be aware of that before you do it. If you've made any of your own custom presets, um, I guess either write down what you did if you want to add them later. Like I have a lots in here that might cover some of the ones that you already have, but um, if not, you'll have to you'll have to re-add them later once you download this file. But um, I've added it to the Facebook group. And it'll be this one here. So download it, obviously, and um, we'll just get it downloaded. So once you got it downloaded, it'll be the same kind of deal as updating the controller. Um, put in your IP address that you'll get off the app and put it in your browser. Bring up your controller here. It's best to switch it to PC mode, makes it way easier. So once you're in here, obviously you'll have your presets that you have currently on this side. You'll see I got, there's quite a few here. And I can show you how to make these little quick load labels as well, but there's quite a few on this file. All of them you see here are the ones that are in that file. And you can also, you know, use your little peek function there to see what they do. But um, so once you're in there, go to config, security and updates, scroll down and then you'll see you can back up like if you want and you like your file that you have right now, you can click on backup presets. So you can just click that and it'll automatically download your preset file and you can keep that. So if you download mine and you're like, man, I don't really like it. I want to go back to the ones I had. You can just upload it back here and it'll switch it back to that one. So that's probably the best thing to do. Or if you have ones for different seasons, make a different one for every you know time of year and then upload it as you need it. So once you're in here, just choose the file that we just downloaded. Um, I got newest presets here. Click upload. It'll say file uploaded then just hit save. And then you can go back and all those will be here. So that's all you have to do. And yeah, if you want to add yours back in, obviously you have, you know how to add new presets and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't, most, I don't know if everyone knows about like the peak function you can click that and then, um, click on the effect and it'll kind of show a little bit of a preview up top. Uh, there's a new one with the new models or with the newer controller update called Tetrix, kind of like Tetris, I guess. Um, it's kind of a neat one you can play around with. You can change colors and all that kind of stuff, but just like stacking blocks as they go across, across your lights on the house, kind of like that one. And uh, yeah, lots of Christmas ones down here, um, like all your classic Christmas ones, candy cane, um, you're just your stationary C9 bulbs, moving C9, multicolor Christmas ones, and you can slow that down or decrease the intensity. And um, if you do, if you do change a preset um, and you want to save it, so that one I just kind of slowed down the intensity a little bit there. You can go to here and just click overwrite with state, which means that the current state that you're in, you want to overwrite override ride that file with your current state so then you hit save and then when i go out of it and then go back into multicolor it's uh got my new settings there like the preset the peak thing works pretty good but um it's not usually exactly how it looks like out there it just gives you an idea i got some halloween ones on here um different fireworks ones colors and non-colors um the easters cinco de mayo blue black and white which is just like a really cool well if you're a toronto fan then great but if not um, it's just kind of a cool architectural lighting and then your classic all white solids and then i have the uh, all white bright and dim that um that dual segmented one that i made in uh, one of the other videos that you'll see on the facebook page there um, that one's in there, preset already made. And then if you want to make these little quick load labels, so this is the, this is that uh, red, blue, and black one. So if you want to make those on yours, you just, where the quick load label thing is there, just right click and click on an emoji. 
and then you can just select the emoji that you want there and then it'll come when you save it it'll be up here in your quick load label so you got like your halloween and my architectural lighting you know christmas all that kind of stuff so yeah it's kind of the gist of it i guess uh if anybody's got any questions post below and i can definitely help you out thanks bye